Hey Eastview, happy Monday. Welcome. So glad that you are joining us. And if you're new, welcome. Uh, we're so glad you're joining our devotionals that happen to fall on Monday through Friday, and they're based off the sermon before. And so we kind of unpack that same text uh, and we get a little nitty gritty with the verses. And so, and the goal ultimately is to, uh, to help you in your day uh, and in your week as you walk with Jesus. And we specifically have been going through the book of John. Today we're in John 17. We're looking at the prayer that Jesus prayed on behalf, uh, prayed to God um, on behalf of the disciples. And so really, though, we're going to hone in on this, on this idea, uh, a question that I want to ask you, and it's this. Who are the people God has given to you? Because this prayer that Jesus prays is uh, initially, it's about the disciples, the people that he spent a lot of time with over three years likely um, and jesus believes that god has given them to him this is ordained this was purposeful this was uh, meant to be so this is the verse we're going to look at for this uh, john 17 verse 6 i have manifested your name to the people whom you gave me out of the world yours they were and you gave them to me and they have kept your word there's so much happening in just this verse alone let me see if I can unpack this well for us. So manifested. The Greek word for manifested is phanero. It's this idea of to reveal, to disclose, to bring to light. And when Jesus is saying the phrase manifested your name, right? He's revealing his name to the disciples. That's who he's, who he's speaking about. There's some Moses connections here. When God says to Moses, uh, tell the people my name, what he was telling Moses was that my name has authority and there are characteristics and attributes associated with the name Yahweh God, right? And Jesus is connecting himself to God and connecting himself, connecting the authority and the characteristics and the same attributes of God to himself, but also revealing his authority to the disciples. And so he, he used uh, leverage the father's authority that he also had that was given to him to build a connection a relationship with the disciples and the disciples believe that jesus is lord but jesus also says yours they were and you gave them to me and they have kept your word right there's a there's uh some uh it, it was as if the disciples were supposed to be uh discipled by jesus it was it was meant to be this way. There was some ordained plan, right? We don't, we can't get into the debate of God's will versus our will, but there's some, there's something happening here, where Jesus chose the disciples and God knew about it, and He allowed it to happen in His will. But I want to come back to the question asked: Who are the people God has given to you? Jesus knew His people, and He was intentional. He invested in um, a group of men who would end up leading and spurring on what we know as the global church today. And he was intentional and he was patient and he was overly gracious. And in these last hours before he goes to the cross, he's trying to communicate to them that he loves them, that there's going to be a Holy Spirit that's going to replace him, and that he ultimately is setting them up to be the future leaders of the church. Who are the people in your life that you believe God has given you to invest in, to disciple in, to care about, to love? That's the same heart that Jesus possesses here that we ought to be inspired by and ought to consider. So uh, this is how we're starting off the Monday. Hopefully this is helpful and encouraging. I'll see you guys on Thursday.